I have here some uh, moss I am gonna clean. I have uh, bought it. I could have gone into the forest and picked it, but uh, it's uh, not legal here where I live. So uh, I bought a, a bucket, uh, yeah, what do you call it? A tray full of, uh, of moss and uh, some of it is looking pretty good. Some less good, but it needs to be cleaned up for needles and things. It's uh, to put in my uh, terrarium I will uh, build for uh, Rastrebias. So uh, I will come back when uh, I have cleaned it and let's see how I will uh, put it so it can grow a bit till uh, I make the the terrarium, orchidarium, what you call it, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll be back. This is the aquarium I have uh, thought about turning into a terrarium for Restrepia orchids. First, this is the moss. Now I have uh, cleaned it up and I have put it in some trays with uh, some water in so it can uh, grow on and get uh, used to a little bit warmer condition. Uh, I had it outside so um, I hope it will uh, continue uh, growing. And uh, I think the Restrepia will be happy in there because the humidity is uh, high. It's uh, 92 now and um, as you know they like a very high humidity so yeah I think they will be happy plants in there I have one Restrepia uh, at this moment but it grows another place it will of course come over here when I have made it um, on the walls I will put some cork I have the bought a cork plate that I will cut out and I will uh, glue it to uh, three sides of a, of this aquarium and uh, then I will uh, transfer some of the moss I hope it will grow on on the on that cork some of it and uh, then I will come some um, bark in uh, bark chips in the bottom and uh, there can also always be a little bit of water underneath that so uh, it will keep on the high humidity uh, and of course I will also plant some of that uh, moss on that so we can spread out and make it a uh, nice green in there so I hope it will be nice and I will of course yeah show you how it will go on I am uh making a wall, a cork wall with the uh, moss growing on to uh, the Restrepia terrarium. I will uh, have made a lot of it already because it's something that takes a lot of time and I don't know if it uh, will succeed but uh, that will uh, show in some times. I will uh, just uh, show you how I do this. Uh, because it's a wall that is, um, you can see there's a big, uh, a lot of uh, those, um, yeah, small holes in. So uh, I will uh, simply poke some uh, some moss in there, and uh, the theory is it should uh, begin to grow and uh, make a wall of moss. So uh, only time will tell, else it's just to pull it off again and but uh, let's see if it stays moist enough and uh, in the Restrepia terrarium there will be around yeah almost 90 sometimes over 90 percent humidity so uh, it should be fine in the theory but uh, let's see I have uh, grown some moss here in it and it uh, did grow well so let's see when it 
it comes on this uh, bag, not bag, uh, cork. I simply have a tweezer that I take some of the moss and then I find a, a piece where I, there is hole so I can uh, poke it in there. And to me, it doesn't matter if there comes a, a seed of something else in it. It uh, will not disturb the orchids. And uh, if it grows too big, I will uh, simply just pull it off. It's not the biggest problem. The, the biggest problem is to get it to grow, but moss seems to be uh, easy to get to grow on different uh, places. If it's not too dry and uh, too too hot, I don't think it likes to grow in very hot uh, uh, places. I, I'm not sure. Don't hang me up on that. But uh, let's see how we will do it. I have another little terrarium where uh, the humidity is not that high. It's about uh, 60, 70. Depends on the humidity in the in the grow room, because um, it's not a closed one. It's only closed on uh, uh, three sides. It will say in the top and uh, at the sides. In the front, it's open. So. Uh, but I have a, a Restrepia growing in there. I will move that one over to uh, to the new uh, Restrepia terrarium, so uh, it will get the uh, humidity it needs. I tried, I have made the cork pieces that uh, fit in a, it's a aquarium that I have uh, emptied. It was my uh, winter hotel for uh, the goldfish I have out in the, in the garden, but uh, they have grown so big, so uh, they are now in a big bucket upstairs. Uh, 200 liter bucket, so uh, that's uh, a lot more space than the the 60 liters I could give it in uh, give them in those in that aquarium. So um, now they are more happy, but it's uh, soon time they shall out again uh, next month. Uh, and the, out in the garden we had an uh, yeah a, a wine. Uh, I don't know the name, but uh, where they have a wine in, but uh, a half one of that. But uh, it's also getting too small, so uh, we are gonna buy a new thing to uh, have them in. So uh, they will be more happy. And. Uh, I also have goobies down here, and yesterday I uh, some will mean it's very mean, 
but uh, you know goobies are also called million fish and uh, I had so many in the aquarium so uh, first I asked in the pet, pet shop if uh, they wanted some for free but uh, no thank you and um, yeah what do you then do I uh, found Trust some and gave them to feed the goldfish. Some will say it's mean, but in the nature, uh, things like that would happen. So uh, I had some happy goldfish yesterday. I think the more I can get in here, uh, the quicker it will cover the moss, nay, the, the cork plate. So, yeah, I think I can get a little more here. And then I will go further with the terrarium. See you back. I am uh, making, transferring an old aquarium to uh, be a orchid terrarium for uh, mostly uh, Restrebia orchids. Um, I have a cork plate in here with some moss on. Uh, I have put it tight with uh, some silicone on the back side and uh, then I have a side panel here. I will not put it on the other side because then I think it will be too, uh, too closed and too uh, tight. I don't come silicone on back of here because I think it uh, stays where it, where I put it. So uh, that was the side panels. And then I will uh, make a little bit of noise. I will come some bark in the bottom. Big uh, bark chips. with water so um, it will be uh, a bit moist in here Let's see if uh, that moss I have come on uh, these walls will grow. So, and over here in another one, I will not film it, but you can hear me. I will uh, find I have some uh, moss that have already start to grow on back over here you can see I don't know how much you can see of it but uh, there is a little bit of moss growing so that I will uh, put down here on the other back chips I will get a little bit more not that I will empty it here I 
shoot after some time start to uh, to grow a bit more so let's hope so and uh, then i will uh, put the restrepia i uh, potted in the other or uh, mounted in the other video i will uh, just put them down here so uh, they can stay in that moist environment See if I can turn this a little bit more. So. And then I have a, a little ventilator I will put down here in the in the corner. So uh, they can get a little bit of air movement and uh, then uh, let's see in some uh, time uh, over a couple of months how it uh, goes here. Maybe it uh, is a failure and uh, I hope it will be uh, a success and uh, then of course I must not forget my uh, Humidity, hygrometer, or what it's called in other countries. Hygrometer is uh, what we say here, so uh, yeah. I will uh, start the little ventilator and then I will close it and uh, say thank you for watching. Hope I see you again and uh, subscribe to my channels and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Bye for now. Um, I think I will show you how it uh, looks like from uh, the outside. I uh, hope you can see it now and uh, the humidity is uh, growing now so uh, that's good. And uh, bye for now.